Welcome back for part two of this uh, video about uh, uh, the parent-child relation uh, for a chart of accounts. And uh, this is the part where we go into dive into the M part and we're gonna make the table flatten. So, so let's hop over to the Power BI desktop and see in the file. Um, first I want to mention isn't it nice that you can play around with Power BI? So um, yeah, you can do a little bit of a GIF on the background and you see the pop-up of the subscription. Well, of course, please uh, subscribe, but it's also fun to see the coffee and the tea and that it's moving a little bit. Um, I don't have a, in the real life uh, scenario I used it, but uh, I love to play the this uh, stuff in the, this kind of tutorials. Well, let's go over to the M. So now we're going to do the M way of the parent-child uh, chart of accounts. Um, there is a good example of uh, the BI accountant, uh, Imke Feldman. So let's try that one and um, also watch her video. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to load the data. Uh, we're going to add a new uh, uh, source um, uh, from a query. Then we're going to make a copy of the counts table. Uh, because the function of Imke uh, needs three, three um, uh, columns and then you can make a clean uh, copy uh, from the chart of accounts. So we're going to join, merge the uh, old accounts table with the invoked table and then we're going to clean up. So that's why Power Query is so beautiful. You get a clean table in your um, uh, data model and um, in your reports and in your table structure. So let's go. We go to the transform data. So we're going to copy paste the text file from the BI accountant. Um, we go make a new empty blank query. We go to the advanced editor and we replace with a copy paste the text and so you don't have to think about all this coding. Uh, you can uh, take a look at it, but um, yeah, it, it is good. <laughs> so we say done. So now we have the query of uh, Imke, and now we're going to copy the accounts table, just a duplicate, and rename it accounts M. Next, we're gonna we need only three columns account, the parent, and the name descriptions. So um, we're gonna get rid of the all other columns. I just select T3 columns and I say uh, remove the other columns. And now we have a table and we can use it for the query. I just rename the query, query Imke. And we have here the parameters. So what's the table? Well, the table is accounts table. The child, uh, that's the, uh, the account key. And the parent, that's the parent account key. I hope I spell it right. And the uh, account description is the one we want to return. And we press invoke. And now you see what we did in DAX is already be done in uh, in M by this uh, invoked uh, function, invoked table. So, well, that's very good for Menke. Um, and we can use this. So let's go to the next step. And the next step is to merge this table with the accounts table. We're gonna take another close look. We don't need this last two columns. And yeah, I th also think we don't need the note key and the uh, first parent key and, um, and the first name. So we're gonna select the accounts table. We're gonna say a merge. Uh, I want a new table. And that's only because I want to name it differently and I want to merge the accounts. 
and the invoked function table. And let's do it. And now we're gonna choose which columns we want. So we go to the invoked function. We don't want to use rename um, on every column row header, also the origin table. And we don't want to have all tables, so we want a path, we want the depth, we want the levels. That's it. Okay. And now you see an error because I made a mistake, and that's uh, the account key is already uh, one, two, three, uh, a number. And in invoke function, it's still a number text. So I make a whole number of it, and now you will see it will be all fine. Now you will see the results. Let's first rename it because this is now our accounts M table. I name it. M power query because the other one exists. So now we have done this step. So now we're gonna do the next step after the join and merge step four. Um, we just uh, gonna clean it uh, up. We're gonna replace uh, some num null variables and um, maybe a joint uh, column and maybe unhide uh, some accounts. But first. Uh, let's see if the name is right. I push enter. Yeah, accountants, accounts table. And let's replace the nulls because you see in the lowest level the bookings are on that account in the in the booking keep, keeping system. So. Um, if you have current assets, this is probably the name, and then the real bookings are on cash and receivables. So cash is booked, but receivable is not booked. It is booked on or not either the uh, either the trade receivable or the uh, other receivables. So let's join. Let's replace. Um, let's make one better level, and I want to replace. Just simple, and I thought it was from Kerbal. I just replace. Um, I'm just going to replace the values. Go to transform. Replace values. You get this prompt, and I say, okay, I want to replace the zeros uh, with one. And I want to make it dynamically. So I want to say make it for each level four. So I don't want to replace the zero with uh, once. I want to replace it with uh, level four. level four yeah so you saw a change you saw okay cash and receivables and now you see okay that's repeated um i also want six level six is just for a few uh accounts so i want to combine level five and six so how i do that um well i just basically make an Rename this one to the old level five, and we want to combine the old and the new. We're gonna just combine, merge the columns. We want to use and we want to name it level five. And now we have a new level five. And with 
if you see here now, you see, okay, this is accrued expenses, salary, accrued expenses, ins insurance, and we can now delete level five and six and have only one level five. Remove columns. And also what we can do now is we can um, filter the statistical accounts. And maybe you can also do that uh, clean clean up some more, but let's for the time do this. And we want to save, close and apply. We go to the data model. And we're gonna add the. Oh, I loaded all the tables, so we can uh, skip that. Um, I will show it in the other video. You can skip the loading, but we only need this account key, and account key, and then for this example, I just went back for to the Power Query and removed the last step to filter the statistical accounts uh, because then we can compare uh, both uh, situations better. And let's go back to um, uh, the model. And now we're gonna make the last matrix, the last two. Um, uh, we wanna drag and drop a matrix. And we're gonna add the level one to five. And we add, and then we're gonna down drill just we did with the ducks so we can compare. But this is looking all the same. Also blanks and also the statistics accounts and make a copy of it on the right side. Now we put in our um, measure of the bookings and we wanna filter the statistical accounts from the level one. And we do one deeper. And let's see what we did with the current assets for the last uh, level. And now you see uh, we are on um, one, two, three, four, and five. And now you see cast, it is not blank. So yeah, so ca you can play with it around that you don't have uh, blank rows. Uh, you can also in DAX uh, make a measure that you don't can collapse uh, if you go one further, but that's uh, a whole different uh, video. Um, and now, so for now, uh, I think let's compare this one with the next one and just see how it looks. Okay, so we go to the compare side. I paste in the M and from the last previous video, I paste in from the DAX. So yeah, it's the same result, um, but uh, with different approaches. And um, for my case, uh, M is powerful because you can reuse the table in other queries again. If you do it on the DAX side, you cannot uh, query further. You cannot go back to the query editor and take this calculated columns. Uh, also the clean up is in Power Query um, better than in DAX. In DAX you need all the columns. You cannot clean up the columns you didn't use. Um, so we can show it in the accounts table now. You see all these different uh, columns and um, you need them for, uh, for earlier uh, formulas. And in the DAX, uh, in the M side, you can clean up uh, and reuse columns, clean them up and still use them in your steps, if you know what I mean. So, okay, basically I will give uh,
for the difficulties, uh, I will give uh, Power Query a little bit more. So I think it's uh, three stars for Power Query and two for DAX. But I think for the uh, solution, I think uh, M is more powerful. Thus I give M more stars. I give them three stars um, of four stars and uh, DAX uh, two stars. Okay, let's see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and to get this file so you get uh, all uh, an email if I make a new video. And uh, yeah, let's make together a nice Power BI Finance Corner.